Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Toonie School. I'm sitting here with Bob Morreale because we just wrapped up the testing on MS-103 and we're here to bring you guys the results. So this video is in line with our force induction series. We're doing all of our fuel testing. And if you guys didn't see the test before, we actually used 93 octane and boostane. So if you guys haven't seen that video, be sure that you go back and check it out. But what we've done today right now is we just finished testing MS-103, right? Yes. So let's talk about exactly how that went. So sure. what was the start to this process? Uh, we started by completely draining. It's the same car, obviously, as last yeah, time. Yeah, supercharged C7. Yep. Yeah, we're going to use that car for all of the fuels. Yep. Standard vehicle um, and the dyno, everything is exactly as we left it. Yep. What we've done is drain the tank completely to the point that it was dry, and then we put in a couple gallons of MS-103. Okay. Uh, and the idea behind that is uh, we just expect that we will see some power differences, and we're trying to see kind of where it really likes to be timing and air fuel wise yeah you know, absolutely compared to the okay rest. so once we did all of our tuning and got through all of that what did we find was best you know sure. for ms 103 what timing did it like sure. and what air fuel ratio did it like um okay so it liked more timing uh obviously than the pump gas did or the pump gas plus the boost mm -hmm. so this liked about 23 24 degrees um and it picked up to that point and then it just kind of that was it okay. were, you were kind of seeing and more gains before on boosting i believe we only had 18 degrees 18 yeah so we we got a few more degrees out of it like that's a decent amount so we yep. got a little bit more octane out of using the ms 103 versus yep. the boosting in 93. yeah i think it burns slower sure. um you know more resistance so that's why we needed more timing and you know interestingly enough when we just put the ms 103 in and we didn't adjust the tune for it mm -hmm. so we left the previous best tune which was 18 degrees yeah um so that's what worked best with the night pump gas and the boosting um the car actually didn't gain any power yeah and i actually yeah. have here in my notes that uh we lost 20 horsepower we did and 18 degrees we did. and that's kind of that argument that we've had with you know people before mm -hmm. is guys you, you know you show up at a drag strip and they've got the vp pumps there right and you go let me just throw race fuel in my car and sure. take my car down the track right well you know basically slower. yeah what we did is we proved that when you don't yeah change the tune right like we had the 93 and boosting tune in it and just yep. pulled the ms 103 right in it yep we lost 20 horsepower yep. and 18 foot pounds like that's a decent it's amount a of reasonable horsepower. it's a lot of power you know like that that's yep. actually going to show a difference yep. in et yep. out of track yep Trap you know speed, so well, yeah. you know guys have to keep that in mind yep. when you're going to the drag yeah and we need to clarify because there's going to be some people watching who don't understand the why yeah you know there's nothing wrong with the fuel that we put in the fuel is fantastic the problem is the process by which it needs to be uh ignited yeah it needs to be lit earlier so we need more spark advance in it to get the same level of power and then also to get more power ultimately yeah and we have to accomplish all that through tuning through so tuning. if you yep. have no intention of doing any tuning at the track right. Right. You're better off just leaving the 93 in it. Really, the fuel that it was tuned on. for. Yeah, what, what yeah. the fuel you were tuned for? Absolutely, yep, absolutely. So you guys, that's a really good point that you yeah. know is awesome, and I think we're going to actually keep doing that as we go into the next test. Is we'll leave the yep. previous tune in it from whatever see what it was, it does, and, yeah. yeah, and see what happens. Yeah. Um, all right, that's awesome. Yeah. So at the very end, when we finished all of our tuning and we got our air fuel ratio and their timing at like 23 degrees. Yep. Uh, what was the max that we saw? Uh, I think we were at 602. Two. It should be actually if I look at my notes here. Right about that range. Yeah. So if we were looking at MS 103, we ended at 602 and 526. Yeah, 526 foot pounds. So that's that's pretty it good. Was pretty so good. We, it's great we power. Did, we did gain some there. I mean, that, that was some good results. Yeah. So now let's talk about our previous best. So we know we just made 602. Yep. So for those of you that don't remember, if we're talking about boostane and 93 octane, we made. 598 right right so that was 598 and we also made 521 tor uh, foot pounds of torque right so we're up four horsepower right and five foot, foot pounds, pounds right then the 93 pump. octane yeah. and boost tank which Correct. is pretty good right. right and i would expect that from right you know it's not a ton right. you know it's not to be fair this is not you know 116 octane racing fuel right this is only 103 and uh, we did run the boostane at the level that they say to run it at which is their sweet spot of 107 octane for, right. the, for the mixture chart they give yeah. you so you know you can kind of say okay maybe a little apples and oranges but the reality is we picked what everybody says will be used right it's you know one can for boostane it turned out to be a can for uh, about a half a tank sure of fuel so at this point you know our new champ you know right. boostane got toppled from its mountain sure. 
Sure. Barely, just barely. barely. Yeah, MS3 barely. is up there. MS103 is up there. But one thing that we really wanted to touch on mm -hmm. um, was cost. Sure. So uh, we did some quick research online and looked up some pricing uh, for MS103, what we right. could get at retail. Uh, we saw a couple of different prices. We saw sure. some stuff that was really expensive. But eventually what we landed on was it averaged out about $16 uh, dollars a gallon right. So for MS103. And so when we looked at that and said this is a 16-gallon fuel tank right. at $16, yeah, you're, you're looking at, you're mile, looking at yeah. $240 basically right. to fill this car up. Now, that's an arbitrary number. It could be higher or lower. If you actually are, a, you know, a like reseller a yeah. or yeah, a distributor, yeah, of, a reseller, a VP or something, yeah, you'll get a much better deal on it than what we saw online. Absolutely. So right. the cost is going to go down, but for the average, you know, sure. average Joe, you're going to spend about two hundred forty dollars. But then we did the price out of what it would cost to run Boostane. Yeah. yeah. And when we we figured that out, we used an average of two seventy five a gallon. That's about what for it is here. For ninety three octane. Yeah, for ninety three octane here yep. in Florida. Uh, we also, you know, factored in that. Uh, Boost stain is going to cost you thirty-five bucks. Yep. So for the bottle. Yeah. Yep. When you're looking at all that yep. over a sixteen-gallon tank, we came up with seventy-nine dollars. Right. Again, an arbitrary number, but you kind of see the difference there. You're looking at two hundred forty dollars versus seventy-nine dollars. Sure. And, and even if you spiked it even higher, like we did in our testing, where we yeah. we technically used one whole bottle oh, yeah. on a half a tank of gas, mm -hmm. so you could run the numbers up a bit more. It, it, even though you know we tried it that way just to see a little more octane, um, and we see the results as they are, it's still going to be way cheaper to run the 93 yeah. octane and the boostane versus um, pure ms 103 absolutely for a difference of about five horsepower right and so you know it just depends you got you have right. to decide does that five yeah. horsepower matter right. to you or your application right. and, and obviously this is one application it sure. might be different than others yeah but and it might be way different on you know something that's running 20 pounds of boost absolutely you know, i'll be way more inclined to go just yeah. run let's the just MS spend the money yeah spend exactly money. but it depends on what you're doing yeah and you know it's it really is also a, an issue of quality maybe where you live your pump gas isn't very good mm -hmm. that can be yeah. you know some people live in areas where the pump gas is awful and it starts at 91 Absolutely. in which case our numbers don't work out as good as they do here right um, and you say I just really want the quality that I know is going to come from mm -hmm. the pure race fuel that's just you know conditions people have to go you know what how much did I spend on my race race vehicle here? Yeah, absolutely. You know, did I spend, you know, two thousand dollars and I don't care if it blows up or you know, am I am I running you know, what's my scenario or do I have a hundred thousand dollar car here that yeah. I'm just gonna run, you know, race gas because I'm gonna run race gas. Absolutely. Yeah. None well, of these are losers. It's just a question yeah. of where do you want to be. What's better for you at right. home and, and what's your application? Absolutely. I mean, you guys seen the results here. You decide at home what's best for you and what you like most. Uh, after this, we're going to move into, I believe, C9. C9. Uh, and we're going to do the testing on that and see how it goes. Absolutely. So I'm really excited to see, you know, yep. if we can keep making more power. We'll see where it goes. Awesome. For more high-performance tuning knowledge, be sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned.